Hello guys and welcome back to this new episode. Today we are talking about uh, PCB panelization. Now PCB panelization is basically you grab your PCB, the single PCB, and put it, put it on a panel full of copies of it. For example, this one is like eight copies of the first PCB right here. Uh, added like uh, tabs from uh, both directions, some fiducial marks, some mounting holes, and other quality of life improvements, which helps uh, significantly when you manufacture uh, a lot of them. Like if you want to manufacture uh, uh, 500 units of your board, it doesn't really make sense to make them uh, one at a time. But if your manufacturer has a pick and place machine that can actually uh, handle a larger size, so it is economical for you to duplicate it and use as little uh, panels as possible. So when stacking PCBs together, uh, there is basically like uh, one or two uh, techniques that the manufacturer can use. One of them is called V-scoring. V-scoring is when you put these two PCBs next to each other like this. The drill that manufacture the PCBs, or in this case the panel, doesn't go all the way down to uh, make a cut, but like goes al almost all the way down from both sides, which makes you able to by hand like twisting it a little bit and you snap the individual PCB uh, PCBs and take them out. The tab routing is more clean, which is actually route the boards individually like this and maybe connect them with very small connections which these connections can be also v-scored which you can just you know snap them out and here is a picture of uh, railways like this on the uh, on the two sides there is also another technique we call it mouse bytes which we will look at into this episode so now we will install the plugin responsible for penalization in KiCad and uh, let's get started Okay, so we go to this GitHub link that I put uh, down below. It is called KaiKit for automation for KiCad. Basically, all we need to do is go to the installation tutorial and we go to the Windows. It tells us to use this command like this. We put KiCad command line and we need to run it as administrator. And then we paste this command for installation. And now it will start to uh, install a KiKit uh, package, which uh, should be a Python package for some reason. And now it is it is done. Okay, so we need now to go to KiCad itself, and we need to need to go to Plugin and Content Manager, and we search here for KiKit. This is the the GUI, the graphical user interface. We want to install that, and we need to go to the plugins or the libraries. I'm sorry. We, we say Kai kit and this is the Kai kit library install now apply appending changes now it will install them done then we we should restart keycad and uh, let's uh, start using it okay so now after keycad restarted itself I need to go to the uh, project that we used before this is the the project we need to make a final check yes this is our PCB but now we will not use this project right here directly but rather we go to the PCB editor as a standalone project uh, file or standalone uh, the, um, program and we will find this uh, KiKit or KiKit panelize option we click KiKit the input file now we, we go there and we choose the uh, project that we want to duplicate or make a panel out. I'm going to click it right here, test project, the output file, let's call it test panel. Okay, now the type we need to say it like it's a grid, horizontal spacing between the board, let's call it like two millimeters by a vertical space of say three millimeters and uh, basically you can play around with these values to get like the exact same uh, look that you need but let's go for the most important ones which are the rows and columns 
So if I want to make a panel uh, that has like 10 of these boards, so I put the, the rows as maybe five, maybe two rows and five columns, which makes uh, one panel has 10 because two times five is 10. And uh, let's get something like uh, the tabs. Let's keep it at spacing. The cuts. Here are the cuts with different options. I explained what V scoring or V cuts are if you want to use that. But let's use mouse bytes. I'm going to let you, let you see what a mouse byte is. Okay. Keep it as the default. We don't need to like uh, uh, play with it right now. The framing is the actual output frame that's going to house all of these. I find this uh, rails uh, top and bottom to be nice and the spacing let's keep it five millimeters by five millimeters okay now let's get down to fiducials fiducials uh, or maybe this first uh, hole uh, the tooling I'm gonna put uh, four holes uh, which are just mechanical holes three millimeters by three millimeters offset from the top and uh, bottom uh, or maybe each uh, each angle and the fiducials i'm gonna put four fiducials the offsets are like let's say two by two the fiducials are these uh, uh, smd uh, little tabs that are uh, that acts as a guidance for the pick and place machine that you're gonna use in your uh, pcb manufacturing okay so that the camera or the PCB uh, manufacturing machine can use these fiducials to check its position and make sure the placement is accurate. Now, uh, copper fill, keep it to uh, none because that's important. B basically, everything else is like uh, copper fill, of course, false. Everything else, you can just uh, check it out in your free time. But basically, these are uh, really nice uh, stuff. Now, we press panelize. Now, as you can see, it successfully panelized our board. Five by two. Let's go to the 3D view, for example, and look at this. This is a panel. Of course, not, it's not like the best panel ever, but that's, that's a panel to start with. And you can like modify it. You can basically write something right here. This, see, this is the fiducial mark. And this is the mounting hole because we didn't really put the nice and correct uh, uh, dimensions they overlap but it's uh, just an example these are the mouse bytes see guys this is what's called a mouse byte so instead of, of connecting all of these as a v groove or v scoring the mouse byte is basically just a little piece of a pcb with too many holes like this connected to the body of the pcb so now you can use your side cutter to snap them off or maybe just uh, you know wiggle them around until they until they snap see and uh, now i consider this tutorial to be complete and uh, you can basically uh, save this pcb i'm gonna save it let's save it uh, right here untitled maybe and uh, we can basically deal with it now as if it uh, as if it is a just another pcb right I'm going to add some text here if I wanted to. Um, made by me, basically. I'm going to put it right here. See? And you can add and subtract whatever you want. You can play around with the num number of mouse bytes, the, the types of uh, how can you like route them together, how can you use tabs and uh, V grooves, etc., etc. So uh, please consider your PCB manufacturer and listen to them what size of, uh, of a panel that they are most economically uh, uh, okay with. And uh, using that information, you can create your uh, panelized PCB. And of course, you can just go here and to the interactive bomb, for example. Let's use an interactive bomb for a change. And you're gonna go to the fields and you can see that it takes the fields that we are using uh, from before see and generate bill of material 
and now look at this a, con a complete bill of material based on the panel that we are using not just the individual uh, PCB so I hope you guys found this tutorial uh, nice and helpful uh, please show me your examples in the comment section and I'll see you in the next tutorial